looked like one of my kids, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like 40 years ago. What does 40 years do to people? You know, at least I got hair. You yeah. Know? That's the way I look That's at true. it. Yeah. When you look back and you reflect on that, I mean, you guys were such a huge band. I remember your first album so clearly. Yeah, and you were cool. selling out stadiums. And when you look back and, and how things have, have progressed through life, what, what strikes you? Um, you know, I would really wouldn't change anything. We had a we had an awesome career. We were still playing uh, 85, 90 shows a year, mm -hmm. as many as we want. Mm -hmm. uh, we're even playing in England this year. We're playing uh, we're playing the Dominican Republic for a week. It's like this big 80s wow. thing. It's it's just a, it's just a great thing that that happened. Like 40 years ago, we started playing, almost. And we're still doing it. And the whole band is together with one exception. That's your former your bass player. Right. Well, we lost our bassist uh, in a, a horrible sailing accident back in 2000. And it was a pretty sad time for us. But we managed to pick ourselves up and, and continue on. And do you have people come up to you all the time saying, oh, I saw you here, or I saw you <laughs> <That's> there? <or? laughs> the first concert I've ever seen. This is what we always get. Really? You're the first concert I've ever seen. And it's all over the country. And it's still happening today. It happened a few minutes ago when I was having coffee down the street. Really? I saw you at the so-and-so, you know, I think they saw us at the Forum. Wow. You know what I got to say? Yeah. 1982, City Park Stadium, New Orleans, LaRue, Ooh. Pat Benatar, Loverboy, Ozzy Osbourne. I was there knee-deep in mud. The show started late. It, it rained. Remember, it rained? It was 100,000 people in that. I remember looking back, and I was so close to say, I couldn't believe how many people you guys put in there. So we pulled our tour bus up. You remember that day? Oh, do I, do I ever? We pulled the tour bus up, and we were using these general facilities, you know, to have a shower and a shave and stuff and get ready. It was like, you know, six stalls. Sure. Um, and I'm shaving and I look over and there's this guy beside me shaving his head and I didn't think anything of it. <sighs> and he started nicking the top of his head and it started <sighs> bleeding. And then he walked out. And about an hour later, Ozzy stands on stage and he goes, <laughs> and he whips his wig, his off, wig off, and there's blood all over his bald head. And that was the guy shaving beside me. I mean, how crazy is that? I'm just shocked that you, I didn't think you would remember that when I brought up as many shows as you've done. But yeah, when he Funny. took that wig off, the whole crowd, nobody could You've actually it. won the prize. You I could have. pick between a black or a red lover boy headband. Oh, wow. Do I have to pick now? It's such a No, you can have them both. Thank you. I brought them for you guys. Oh, my brother will be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, every, and I mentioned to this, uh, you're, you're playing Saquon tonight. And yeah. you were telling me that this is more of an intimate venue. You're used to bigger, and the yeah. crowd's right up on top of you. Well, the last weekend we were back in uh, West Palm Beach. We played a big deal. It was a lot of fun. It was an all-day event, and there was 12, 14,000 people there. Tonight it's like 500 people, which is great because everybody gets a great show. There's not a bad seat in the house, and it's a wonderful stage and lighting, and it's wonderful. We played last night. It was great. So uh, one more night, and then we have to move on. Well, tickets are still available, right? Uh, probably. I would think so, Never yeah. Know. Get a hold of Saquon, see if you... Now, who is this uh, you're singing this duet with? Originally, when you did Almost Paradise, it was... Was it Ann Wilson? It was Ann Wilson. Yeah. Um, it was one night in Chicago. She was three hours late. We almost canceled the session. Love her very much. I chose her to sing with. Okay. It was my choice. I got to do the whole thing, and it was the first take. No kidding. One, one take, take, and it was done. Boom. Wow. It was a, a, an awesome experience. A little trivia for everybody. Okay, now, every rock star has got stories from the road. Yeah. There's something that, had, whether it was your a member of your band or another <laughs> band, or and I told you I wanted you to tell us one story that's your favorite one to tell from something that happened on the road. Okay, we were asked to play a concert at JFK Stadium, and we didn't really know there'd be 100,000 people there, but there was. And we had to turn our bus around and kind of deadhead back to Philadelphia. We got there just in time to kind of put some water on our face and hair and just kind of throw some clothes on and run on stage. We played the whole show, and the crowd went crazy. We split the crowd in half, so there was 50,000 people yelling one obscenity and another <laughs> 50,000 people yelling another. Not not terrible obscenities, but just... And uh, we noticed that all the other bands that were there had never really heard of us because we were just starting. Uh -huh. And we look to the side of the stage, and there's the guys in Foreigner, the guys in the Kinks, there's Christy Hine, there's all these people we really looked wow. up to. And that is one of the best memories I've ever had, because we had, it was one of the best shows we ever had, and it was in front of all these great uh, bands that we loved and respected, and we became one of them at that, at that time, I think. All right. Mike Reno, it is so great to have you here. My um, pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really enjoyed this. I wish we could go longer. I could talk to you all day I long. i got stories for days. So. I know you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Mike Reno and Loverboy are playing Saquon Casino tonight. If you get a chance, get out and see him. It's going to be another great show. Thank you, Mike. Right. Appreciate it. All right. And there's the information.